Hello everybody, this is Eric White. Today I am going to show you how you can use the HTML converter class that is part of Power Tools for OpenXML to generate HTML that uses CSS styles in an interesting way. To show you what I mean, first I'm going to give you a demo of what I'm going to develop for you today. This is the sample document that you find in the HTML converter example that shows how to use CSS styles. I'll do something interesting here. I'm going to go to page layout and I'm going to change the theme to Apex. So now you can see that this text up here, the normal text is using Book Antiqua and the heading text is using Lucida Sans. The headings have the particular color that they do. It's a sort of a tannish color. I'll save this document and close it. And I'll go to the Power Tools for OpenXML. And I've set this example HTML Converter 02 CSS to be the startup project. I'll run the startup project. It runs just fine. And now I'll open up the test.html. And you can see here that the normal text is using Book Antiqua. The headings are using Lucida Sans, and they have that color. Now I'm going to show you how to go about doing this in your own project. I'm going to start with the released version of Power Tools for OpenXML. I'm going to start with the core code that you can find on the downloads page. I'm going to download Power Tools Core 2.2.3. I'll save as, and I'm going to save this in my public documents folder, and I'll open that folder. Now I will extract everything. I'm going to open the solution in Visual Studio. I'll uncheck this checkbox, ask me for every project in this solution, and click OK. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to set example HTML converter 02 CSS to the startup project. If I open up this test.docx as it comes in the zip file that you get from Power Tools for OpenXML. You can see it uses the office theme. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to page layouts and I'm going to change it to the Apex theme. You could do this with any theme that you want. It all works the same regardless of which theme you use. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to save this document, but I'm not going to save it as a Word document. Instead, I'm going to save it as a single file web page. I'll close this now. And I'm going to open this MHT. I'm going to open it with a text editor. And what I'm interested in here is I'm interested in the CSS that was generated by Word when Word saved this document as an MHT. So here I can see the CSS. I can start here, start selecting this text. Here's the end of the CSS. Next thing that I'm going to do, I want to copy this into my C Sharp program, but in order to copy this into my C Sharp program, I need to replace all of the double quotes with a single quote. So I'll type Control H, replace double quote with single quote, replace all, and it replaced all of those there in the selected text. And now I can copy all of that selected text to the clipboard. Now I'm going into my example HTML converter 02 CSS and I'm going to open the example program. And here is the CSS that is used by default 
in this example. Well, what I'm going to do is I am going to replace that CSS with the CSS that I grabbed from that MHT file. One key point here is if you look at these styles in this CSS, if a paragraph is styled with the normal style in the document, then in this style sheet, it's styled with MSO normal. In other words, Microsoft Office normal. Same thing for an LI element, same thing for a div element, and so on. Well, an interesting little feature of Power Tools for OpenXML and of the HTML converter is that there is this option here to set the CSS class prefix when you're using the HTML converter. So if I come over here and I change that PT to MSO, what this means is that it's going to generate HTML with a class of MSO normal if a paragraph is styled with normal. This means that if a class is styled with normal, it will match up to the CSS class that is up here from the MHT. So now I can save it and run it. And now if I look at the test.html, this is the HTML that was just generated by the HTML converter class, then you can see that in fact the normal style is using Book Antiqua and the headings are using Lucida Sans and the headings are colored with the particular color that we saw. If I tell Internet Explorer that I want to view source, then we can see here is the source that the HTML converter generated. Here are the CSS styles that we pulled from the MHT. And if we drop all the way down here to the body of the HTML document, you can see that the class here is MSO normal. And if I drop down to the heading one and heading two elements, you can see that the classes are MSO heading one and MSO heading two. So using this little trick, you can cause HTML converter to use a style sheet that was generated by Word when you save as an MHT. That's all I'm going to cover in this little video. Thanks for watching.